the tip, and here we go. For three, really, in the in the league right now that attempts so many mid-range attempts. Giannis gets his own miss. He's saying that the bucket should for all record. Taking on the last two NBA champs. Beat Golden State on Sunday. And lost to the Bucks on Monday. Giannis will take it inside. Drop the contact. All five going to it picked up his dribble early. Now six to shoot. Boyan Bogdanovich, one of the newest Pistons here this year. That fadeaway love, Ken. It's nothing. The second opportunity. One of those second chance opportunities you were talking about, Marcus. Rook doing a nice job keeping it alive and an even better job with the Barry's a big time jump shot. So you get the you get the advantageous matchups that you want on the perimeter if you if you execute them properly. Boyan Bogdanovich with his first three-point make. And that's why, you know, Coach Casey stayed with the zone because the Bucks were having a hard time getting that lid off the basket. Speaking of just... Back to back for him. It's that screen from Brooke. Two-player game between those two players, and Drew has that soft touch, gets it to fall. You know, that outside shooting continues to come around to 35% from the three-point range. You will continue to stay in a test to Bogdanovich. Can't give him any breathing room. Bogdanovich, lob play to Noel. Maryland's Noel now playing in box. Nice with that handoff to Jordan Wara. Quick trigger. There's your first three point make. Jordan Wara with five here to shoot. It's taken away. Jaden Ivey leading the break with the flush. If it's not there right away if you're Jordan, and very rarely did they have a 30% usage rate for a season. You know, Michael Jordan was one of the guys that had that kind of high usage rate for 13 years, but that zone defense, once again, 2-3 zone, and why not if the Bucks continue to struggle knocking down three points? Yeah, take that! Right in the Pistons' face! Mark Marshawn picked up his first personal, Giannis tips it! Giannis takes it! Spot. It is one three-point make from that spot against Atlanta on Saturday. Pull up there for Kate Cunningham. Is his terrific handle and then his size at 6'6, 220 pounds to, to get the three wants to get. Ooh. Giannis to Big Brock in the alley. -oop. Undersized on the back. This gets a breather. How about his stat line as he takes a seat? 17 points, seven rebounds. That was his second assist. He's got four of them here tonight. Drew looking for some paint points and finds him. 12 in the second quarter. Giannis drops it off. Poppy takes care of it. Early Giannis. Ivy with that acceleration throws it away. Tons of turnovers this half. 11 of them. Giannis with the lay in. And, uh... Cunningham finding Bay, three point territory. He'll take it inside the paint and finish with the left hand for Halloween. I mean, George has been doing it for 47 years, so uh, he's, got, he's got the intel clearly on this team. There's a transition look for Bogdanovich. Front line of the, of the, the Detroit Pistons tonight. But the 20 to 2 advantage that you see there on your screen. Second Ooh. chance points. Wow. The bucket is good. To try to keep him. And Bogdanovich. Catch and shoot. Let's do it. Drew with a step back three. And there you go. There it is. Finally. Another three point make. Hits it up to Brooke for another shoot. Somebody's got to shoot it. Giannis will to the Judeus. Good assist against the Bucks on that possession. Crossover Cunningham looking for it. Maybe that's the way he gets going. He's way on. Giannis feeding Grayson on the wing. Bounce pass. Nicely done. Perfect pass to Drew Holiday. <laughs> see a broken clock is right twice a day. I mean, it seems like something would find its way into the basket. Drew knocks that, uh, that, that three-pointer. Normally, I feel like a shot that Grayson might take. Yep. He passes it up. Drew to Carter. Grayson again steps into it. There it is, number three. And especially in the corners, is extremely deadly. Not that that excuses the utility. 
that'll work too. But to the Bush credit, that, and that's why that, that effort, that energy at the defensive end, all the steals, the quick hands. 13 steals now for the Bucks, and Javon Carter lays it in. It comes through. Looking to build on the 16 point advantage. Flips it up with that left hand. So good in the pregame. Saying if he didn't play on a team with Giannis, that, that he might be more appreciated. He might get more headlines as Jaden Ivey. He thought about it, takes it inside the two point territory. I mean, it's a wide open look there from George Hill. You gotta take it. It's the shortest three point distance in basketball that corner three. All right, now there's back to back. As we used to say back in the day, but because of your effort at the defensive end, your effort on the offensive glass, your hustle, and not giving up on any kind of a, a layup or attempt. The Bucks trying to find a way to win, and the shooting just isn't there from deep. Did it Monday, trying to do it again here Wednesday, flipping it up with the points, and George Hill with the assist. Last time out against the Pistons, a little high ball screen against the zone, screening the zone, especially with this lineup on the Pistons squad, gives you some, some really good looks inside. Cunningham now has, has found a little bit of rhythm. Yeah, he just vacates the premises. Barely another pickoff. <laughs> it's all yours, big guy. <laughs> what a finish. Yeah, yeah, they both ends. Here you've got to move and cut and get open for each other. Jordan gets another chance at it. He's got two three-point makes. Yeah, the first time at double figures here for him. Well, here we go. Okay, back to back for the Bucks. For a team that's built around Giannis to try to, to make those shots. Giannis down the lane. Giannis trying to get that screen from Wes. Well defending. That has not ended well for him. He gets it out to, to Drew Holiday. There you go. Yeah, buddy. It's one of the youngest teams here in the league. Such like the eighth youngest team. Maybe not the day for the Detroit Pistons. Noel from the baseline. Of consistency on Giannis's part, and he is so locked in at both ends of the floor. Yes. See? Turning go. Trump got a free lane. Didn't see Ivy coming from behind. Forces the turnover. Delivers. Pulls and fire. Just to think back, October 12th, the last exhibition game, he was struggling to find his rhythm. And his job again, Brooke. And, and now, we're seeing an entirely different player who is locked in at the offensive end. Stewart. Whether it comes, you know, some of those with a, a four-point first half, a nine-point first half. And, and both of those games resulted in 30 or more points this year. Two for three. UCLA did you right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I can keep it to... Uh -oh. Grayson! Having some fun with it! Sailing to the hoop! My daughter would be the first one to sign up and join me. <laughs> Step through. Left handed. Look at that, Lisa. That's beautiful, isn't it? Step, step. Slam dunk for Isaiah Stewart. And Giannis Tetacumpo, I don't know if you all have seen the, the video on Buck's Twitter of Giannis really putting those uh, Zoom Freak 4s on Surge. Uh, Hold it, he can go I for it, though. That. He oh. grabs Surge. The, 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 lunch, the lunch area, yeah. That's like, like my home away from home. <laughs> <laughs> it's your grocery store. It's, isn't the, it? it's the Jim Paschke media room. It's the, <laughs> the Marcus Johnson lunch. <laughs> this game right at the start with the great defense with all the steals. Three points.